Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a lot of money by repairing old Walkmans and portable cassette players. Before you laugh at me and tell me, well, who would ever buy cassette players? Uh, when, uh, you know, you could get MP3 players, you can get music on your phone, uh, and, uh, you know, you can hardly find any music on cassettes and all that. Well, stop laughing because you will be surprised to see how vintage they have become and how valuable they are on eBay. Check out for what prices these old cassette players are selling for on eBay. Okay, so now you're not gonna laugh once I type Walkman in search bar. Watch. Just gonna type Walkman. Okay, 99 cents, right? These are bids. People are bidding. Let's go to sold items. Where are sold items? Sold items. And this is $50. This used to be like 10 bucks in Walmart. But this is not important. Go to highest sold, highest price. This is 35 bits, $2,800. Obviously, this is gold anniversary edition. I'm not expecting you to get that much money for any Walkman. But look at these. Look at the rest of them. $1,600, one, 21 bids on this, $1,200. Uh, $1,200, this is another one. 1100 1050 these are sold folks this is sold listings i'm not talking about something that people are asking i'm talking about people uh, the, the items that people have already purchased so now i hope i have your attention and see how valuable it is to buy broken walkmans look at this 21 bids 800 dollars and this sold for this price for parts. That's right. For parts, not working. Okay, 21 bids for parts. Look at this one. 818, 21 bids sold working. So I'm going to go. I mean, just look at it. Just look. I went to highest price first, obviously. Four bids, $600. Look at that. I mean, it's crazy expensive 21 bits 577 so if you learn how to repair these look at that 22 bits 560 dollars 60 bits look at that again 60 bits and sold for 540 dollars it's unbelievable it's it's unreal I was shocked when I saw this and I was like you know what I'm in the wrong business I'm gonna start repairing Walkmans and you can buy them dirt cheap, not working on eBay. You can buy them by, by, by lots. You can buy them as lots and, and just change the belt. 99% of these have bad belts. Four bits, for $455. I mean, it goes... This Look at this one, 50 bits. I remember these when they used to be like 50 bucks or something at, at Walmart. And it, it, Walmart wasn't even around when these were around. I think it was in Kmart or Target. They were like 50 to $100. And look at it right now. It's vintage. Now you probably, I probably have your attention now. Now you are probably asking why? Why would anybody pay that kind of a money for a obsolete, outdated Walkman? Here's why. A lot of people have old cassettes that, haven't, that they haven't transferred to CDs or digital media. And they have family memories. And these are come, becoming harder and harder to get. Especially working ones. There's tons of Walkmans that don't work. But good luck finding one that's, that works for less than $100, you know. So, I bought a broken one from eBay, and I'm going to show you 99% of these Walkmans have a bad belt. Now watch, this is the FM radio, I, I, I have, uh, I'm feeding this to the mixer. Watch, the FM radio works perfectly fine. 
Let me freeze the button. That treats IBSC in See, adults. Linzess works right differently than laxatives. It lets you have more fine. frequent and complete bowel movements and helps relieve overall abdominal symptoms, belly pain, discomfort, and bloating. These symptoms were go. studied in combat. So, the only problem is the cassette. The cassette doesn't work. When you press the play, nothing spins. And it's simply, you know, it doesn't spin at all. See, now it's on tape. Nothing spins. And I bet you the tape, the, the belt is, is broken. And 99% of these have that problem. Let's see how easy it is to replace the belt. You open the belt holder, remove the batteries. Okay, and you need a Phillips screwdriver. A Phillips it is. Let's get a Phillips screwdriver. Let's put our screws in a little container so we don't lose them. Okay, so I took out two screws and I'm gonna see if there are more screws. Sometimes the screws are on this side. You have to be very careful. Okay. So I don't see any screws on this. Actually, there is a screw right there. There is a screw. So I'm gonna have to remove that screw just to be on the safe side. Phillips. And we have taken out all the screws that may hold the cover together. And now let's see if the cover comes apart. Now for each uh, type of Walkman, the, the screws and, and the location of the screws and the taking apart procedure is different, so be careful. See uh, this, this, these little hooks, so you have to be very careful. There you go. So this side comes out. See this screw was so important. Remember I took out this screw and there's another hook. So basically this is only being held by three screws, which I took out. Now we have this mechanism. Uh, we have to remove this to get to the motor, right? So let's find out how we are gonna get to the motor. We have one screw right here. You can remove these but make sure to put them back because these are for a reason. They're there for a reason. Smaller screw, much smaller screw on that side right there. And let's see. This one is just a hook. This one wasn't a screw, it was just a hook. This is a flat ribbon cable that goes through the radio. See the radio, digital radio tuner is on this side and this flat ribbon cable right there underneath is going to the radio so you have to be very careful not to break that cable okay now we have another hook right here these are hooks simple hooks no screws just hooks like this like this holding one hook two hook three four so you have to be careful now we have to release the tension of this cable so it can, there you go. And I believe we have reached the belt. And what did I tell you? The belt is broken. And here is your our belt. Now the belt, because it's this thing is more than 20 years old, so the belt is very sticky and very gooey and it will stick in your hands and you can't clean it for weeks. So be very careful when you're cleaning up the broken belt. Be very careful. As a matter of fact, you should get a tweezer 
and pick up the broken pieces of the belt and put it on a napkin. Let me get a napkin. I'm gonna put it on a napkin like this and you know make sure that it doesn't get stuck anywhere not even in your trash can because they're just like glue it's a uh, uh, the rubber that these belts are made of it's uh, you know biodegradable so that's why they, they become like uh, you know like glue after 20 years that is it's probably more than 20 years old it's probably a lot more than 20 years old be careful this cable you don't you can't bring too much tension on that cable you see this cable so it doesn't break I'm just collecting the pieces of the rubber belt they're everywhere so you have to be very very careful and very very gentle Oh my god, there's all over the place. The, the, the belt has already disintegrated and, and fallen apart inside the unit. So there's a new piece of... Oh, there's another piece of the belt. There's another piece of the belt right here. It's, it's so soft, it's like creamer on top of the cake. So that's why it's so important that you don't make a big mess and remove it very, very, very professionally. Okay, now we have the belt completely removed. Now the pat of the belt is this way, watch. You, like this, like this, and like that. That's the pat. Now I know that by heart because I fixed uh, Walkmans for 20 years. When I was a teenager, I had a, you know, repair shop. Okay, so here's my belt collection. I hope I have a belt that will fit here. If not, they're cheap. You can get them for like a dollar, two dollars from uh, Alibaba or Aliexpress or eBay, you name it. Okay, let's see. That belt is too big. The one I just put there is too big. It's too loose basically yeah and also that the belt itself is too big the, the original belt is so slim so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the center of the table like this and I'll put another belt inside it and try that belt so let's get a belt that fits inside that okay Perfect. So this belt fits inside that, which means it should be a perfect size, right? Okay, let's put it in and see what happens. Okay, this is extremely critical you need to pay attention this is the spot that's very critical okay I went successfully okay Okay, it looks good. It looks awesome. 
Well, let's put it back together. Remember? There were little clips. And let me zoom in. Okay, notice there was only one screw here and all the rest were little clips. These were little clips. Little clips tabs that were holding it. So you have to put in the tabs first and then you put this little battery terminal here. Make sure that goes in there. And make sure this battery terminal goes in, the, in its place. Okay, everything looks good. Just this battery terminal needs to be seated. The battery terminal needs to be seated and these wires need to be put back in place. I didn't have didn't have to use a soldering iron in this case, but sometimes you need a soldering iron to repair these because they were like they're like fine little uh, wires that you need to remove in order to uh, get to the place where the belt is. But in this case we didn't have to remove anything. So now I'm going to put this back in, but I have to put the little screw. I cannot forget the little screw. This little tiny screw goes in right here. And remember, when you're putting this you have to be very careful because you have to see which position this switch is and that's where you have to put these covers on. So let's put all posi switches to, to down position towards me and put all of these in this position. This way they will snap into that. Okay. Now I'm going to insert that first. There you go. Oops, my switch is didn't match one second there switches need to be on this direction switch and voila now it's good and now what I'm going to do before I close it I'm gonna put the batteries and test it to make sure it's working make sure my cassette player is working and voila there you go see it's working perfectly and let's go to reverse this is the reverse this is auto reverse so everything seems to be working let's go to rewind let's rewind forward forward and that's it I'm gonna put the screws back in and I just fixed a Walkman that could sell potentially for hundreds of dollars. And let me see how much this sells for. Let me see how much this sells for. Because uh, to see if was, the surgery was worth my time. Well, I mean the surgery took what, 15 minutes? So this is not like, uh, I spent more time explaining it to you guys than the actual surgery. So it's not like uh, not worth your time in any way. So it is worth your time. If you can make a hundred bucks in 15 minutes, that's very well worth your time. And let's see, this is Iowa. And I'm gonna see how much this is worth, right? Let's find out. Okay, so the model number is Iowa HS. TX610. HS TX610. Okay, so this working so sells for $30 with $7 shipping. I pay, I paid $5 for this not working. And you can, you know, you can buy these for five bucks and change it to this particular one is is actually not as expensive as I thought I would be. But, you know, there you saw some go for hundreds of dollars. So I didn't buy the hundred dollar ones. And uh, like uh, 
This is another Iowa went for 37. This is similar one went for $60. This one sold for $47.99. $49. You know, so it's it's a good market. I mean, this particular one wasn't as expensive as I thought it might be. And uh, but uh, overall speaking, you know, you can't go wrong. It's uh, it's something that you can consider buying for five ten dollars and turning around and selling it for fifty a hundred uh, some go as uh, as high as five hundred and the ones that went for three thousand dollars that I saw sh showed you those are collector collector editions they are not that's not something you can get your hands on even if you get them on on eBay you're not gonna be able to get them not working for less than two thousand dollars one was actually made out of golden case golden body so Anyways, I hope you learned how to replace the belt in a uh, Iowa uh, Walkman. And this was model number HSTX610. And they're mostly the same. Uh, different ones are slightly different. Maybe the belt is in a different location. The screw is different location. But it's mostly in the same place. Okay, thank you for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe.